The good member from the 20th Legislative District, Representative Abarno. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This legislation is named after a young man from uh, my community who uh, went to Centralia High School, uh, Zachary Rager. And Zachary uh, drowned in the Chehalis River after jumping off a trestle near the Willapa Hills Trail uh, on a late March, warm, sunny day two years ago. He had jumped into that river numerous times, like many of us have. Unfortunately, on this day, uh, due to the warm, sunny weather, there was a lot of snow melt, and the water was freezing cold. Uh, Zach's law, which this uh, legislation is named after, uh, would require state agencies and local governments to erect signs um, in and around uh, water hazards, uh, really not erecting new signs, but replacing signs and erecting signs during uh, new construction. And it would also create a mechanism to allow families to, to donate and, and organizations to donate to erect signs uh, near and around these water hazards. Many people really don't know uh, the dangers of, of cold water shock. And unfortunately, uh, Zach uh, found out how cold that water was. When he jumped in to that water, he immediately gasped. He went under the water and his friends never saw him again. His body wasn't recovered for, for 30 days. And you can imagine how heartbreaking that is for our community and his family. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, uh, the body responds to cold water shock and cold water is, is defined as anything 70 degrees or below with an, an increased heart rate and blood pressure and, and gasping and breathing and really a loss of a lot of your body control. And this can happen within really minutes. Uh, can I read a, a, a few articles or at least headlines, um, Mr. Speaker? Please proceed. I introduced this legislation um, in 2001. And in 2002, on December 26th, a 12-year-old boy died at Davies Beach in Lake Stevens, and two other kids were in critical condition. That same weekend, a Joint Base Lewis McCord soldier drowned while he was swimming at Shoreline Park. These are the stories throughout our community of cold water shock drownings. It's a tragedy, but it's a preventable one. So I ask for a yes vote. Thank you.